everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk through with you what we eat, what we cook on our 28 foot sailboat as we don't have a fridge or a freezer and we get a lot of questions about this. So I was just in the middle of cooking a meal. This one I had this idea to talk to you guys. So I'm just gonna kind of talk to you in between cooking. Firstly, how have we found life without a fridge freezer? It's been totally fine. We've got to the point where we don't actually know what we would store in our fridge other than cold beers. Maybe chocolate wouldn't melt as quick. But our actual food, we, we haven't found an issue in, in not having a fridge at all. Kind of stating the obvious, firstly, we eat a lot of tinned food. We have a lot of tinned beans, a lot of tinned soup. There's a lot of really nice tinned vegetables as well. So that way, if we don't have fresh food um, or if we're somewhere where fresh food won't last that long, we still get uh, quite a balanced diet. What we found does last a really, really long time is potatoes. And we always, always have potatoes on board, especially sweet potatoes, we love them. So uh, we have such a variation with this. We can have sweet potatoes in a curry. Um, sweet potato katsu curry is one of my favorite meals. We also have uh, jacket potatoes, sweet potato fries roast potatoes so there's just there is so much variation we've had sweet potatoes on board that literally last weeks and weeks we also have a lot of onions and a lot of garlic on board that's i mean how can you cook a meal without onions or garlic i should also mention that we don't eat meat or dairy so that makes it a lot easier to live without a fridge or freezer the things we do tend to get uh, the things that last a bit longer is mushrooms. Kale lasts quite a long time. We also really, really like broccoli and that seems to last quite well. Also, we can still eat very normal lunches like sandwiches. Um, bread lasts for ages on board and other fillings like jam. Um, we have been known to eat a crisp sandwich or two, am I right? Which isn't the healthiest, but that's that's a good meal uh, that we enjoy. So then things like chickpeas, they make a really good type of chickpea tuna which we enjoy on a sandwich chickpeas and cans last a very long time and there's all kinds of different fillings that you can have that don't need refrigerating in terms of milk obviously again we don't have dairy but we do sometimes get um, oat milk or soy milk we get the UHT milk so it lasts indefinitely until you open it and then when we open it we put it in our kind of cool cupboard which is I'll show you in a moment it's this cupboard here so it's definitely not a fridge but it keeps things slightly cooler in there and we found that we get through the milk before it really needs refrigerating anyway. I definitely say the meals that we eat most of involve uh, some kind of dry food such as noodles, rice, pasta, lentils, um, chickpeas, different types of beans, quinoa, couscous and these things just last for forever basically. We just have a cupboard full of dried goods and that way we've always got something filling on board. You don't need a lot to make a meal out of things like that. A really good way of making food a lot more filling is we actually make flatbreads um, just with flour and water and different herbs and spices and just fry it in a pan. We also love pancakes and pancakes. Again, we can literally just make them with flour, water and cinnamon or sugar. So we kind of just pick a food that we really, really like and just simplify it by a hundred times, just make it a lot simpler. We also always keep tin tomatoes or like jars of pasta sauce or jars of pesto uh, so that you've got a really quick meal then as well. You know, you can literally just mix your jar of tomato with onions, spices, whatever, and then you've got, you know, a, a spaghetti bolognese you can even have with lentils or just pasta and tomato sauce. So there's just so many really simple recipes you can make from not much and all ingredients that last. If you guys would be interested in hearing some more specific recipes and meal ideas, then just let me know in the comments and I might do that at some point as well to kind of talk more in depth about what we actually cook. Uh, but I will show you throughout this video some of the foods that we eat a lot of. So today I'm just cooking a super simple um, pasta dish, which is just gonna, basically gonna be mushrooms, uh, spinach pasta in a kind of creamy mushroom sauce. Rin working away in the background, bless his soul. What you up to? Uh, just working on some live video stuff. To give things a bit of extra flavor, I always put in stock cubes. And it's really easy to just find veggie stock literally anywhere. These are just simple, cheap veggie stock cubes, mix them with hot water and they add flavor to things. Looking for a little bit now, I'm gonna put in some veggie stock and coconut milk. Absolutely love coconut milk. 
Like we, we use this for so much, we use it for anything. We even used it for some pina coladas the other day, which was an absolute win, I think. <laughs> And then I'm just going to bring that up to the boil. I guess one thing that we always make sure we have a lot of in stock is different kind of herbs and spices. And I think that's how kind of a bland meal can be made quite nice. So we have our spice rack and then also we have some really big tubs of the spices that we use a lot of. And these last forever. I wouldn't say that I'm a, an excellent cook. We always have really full bellies and we eat the kind of food we like. So yeah, it works for us. I would say she's a real excellent cook. This guy would just eat pasta every day if it was up to him anyway, so he's not fussy. That's a lie. No, you would. Okay, what's your favourite meal that we ate on board? The doll that you did. Oh yeah, so we really, really like a, a kind of sweet, yummy, coconutty doll. That is, that's our favourite, isn't it? Yes. I think as well the good thing is um, because we Obviously, because we eat, we eat plant-based and we don't have a fridge, it kind of encourages us to be a lot more creative with our food as well. Uh, we eat a lot of food now that we've not really even heard of much before. So things like jackfruit and banana blossom, which come in tins, they are awesome. They can literally be transformed into so much. Like we've done kind of pulled pork jackfruit, um, bio buns jackfruit, um, banana blossom can be kind of fried to make a type of fish, a fishy type texture. And most things we cook, we don't really cook a lot of kind of bland things. And we actually sometimes find ourselves craving really bland, boring food sometimes, because we always cook quite interesting meals. So not long ago, we did a, a veggie kind of toad in the hole, which I don't know if that's just a British thing. So you might not have heard of it, but um, if you have, you'll know it's a British staple and it's basically just uh, sausages in like a, a Yorkshire pudding type mix. So another thing that we do and um, have in kind of desperate measures is we have some type of um, instant mash which basically you just add water or milk to um, so if ever we didn't have potatoes we've at least got kind of something to pad out a meal a bit more I guess for us because sometimes we're a little bit conscious of water because we don't have that much water storage on board uh, so if we don't have that much water we wouldn't cook things like pasta but we would cook things like stir fry noodles uh, yeah, just stir fries in general. Curries that have coconut milk as a base or tomatoes as a base. Uh, they're really good for if you're short on um, water. And also just kind of tinned meals. So we've got a few like veggie tin chilies, uh, veggie tin soups, like a tin jackfruit curry. So kind of ready meals that you can just put in a pan, warm through and then you're good to go. So hard to judge pasta. How does anybody do normal quantities of pasta? I would love to know because I always massively, massively over cater. Bryn doesn't mind too much. I don't mind. We always say it's going to be leftovers, but then we always just eat it on the same day. And there is no such thing as leftovers anymore. One other thing I should mention as well, um, anyone that follows us on Instagram and probably watched our YouTube videos uh, would know that we eat, we seem to eat a lot of junk food. Um, crisps, chocolate, chocolate cereal. And the reason it seems like that is because we do. Um, actual meals are quite healthy, so we figure that gives us an excuse to eat more junk food, right? I think as well, the other thing that we're trying to learn a bit more about is um, in terms of storing your food, a lot of people kind of dry their food, um, jar, put it in jars as well. We love pickled things. We love pickled onions, um, dill pickles, beetroot. Um, we've got massively into olives as we've been traveling around this area so I think those kind of things are really good as well if you don't have a fridge and that's something we're gonna we would like to look a bit more into is doing those things ourselves all sorts of kind of old-school method methods people use to store food and um, people have been cruising without fridges for years and years and years I think even if you do have dairy and meat it's still doable you would probably just have to buy more I guess daily food or find um, ways of having dried meat or more canned meat I think a lot of people have canned meat as well so yeah, it's doable. I think you just got to think about it more. I think the one thing that we have found, um, not hard, but that hasn't worked great is fresh fruit just seems to go off really, really quick. And we pretty much just get apples and uh, we really like tinned fruit. I really like tinned peaches and pears, um, even tinned oranges. So I just think that's an easier way. Uh, and they tend to be really cheap, to be honest, as well. But I guess it depends where you are in the world and where you're traveling and um, the different things that are cheaper in different places. Uh, but so far that's what we found here. Uh, I also think I'm going to do another video 
uh, in the near future about kind of my like our galley essentials so the things that we find make it a lot easier living uh, on a small boat cooking in a small kitchen um, cooking without a fridge uh, so I'll do a list of some of those kind of essential items if you guys think that would be useful pinch of salt of course maybe a generous pinch of salt and a generous pinch of pepper I think as well I kind of didn't appreciate the importance of keeping a tidy kitchen obviously before we had a boat and you literally have to just constantly clean as you go because otherwise you can't move everything piles up really quick as well we cook a lot of one pot meals uh, and that's just to kind of save washing up basically so we tend to stock up on really cheap food in a cheap supermarket and live on that if i'm honest so we will we, we still eat some local things like local fruit and veg i mean we're still living now on tins that we brought back in falmouth in england we're just getting through the last of them now love it Actually, do you know what? One thing that would be nice is if we could have like ice lollies and ice cream. That would be nice in this heat, but you know what? If we have to go to a shop and buy one, that's not the end of the world. And it's a nice treat. It's a nice treat, so we don't do it all the time. I'm gonna add the spinach into this now and a bit of basil and then we're done. Oh no, about ready to dish up. How does that sound, Bruno? Amazing. I'm so hungry. Dinner is served. Why, well, thank you so much. That looks so good. Do you like how we're being dignified and actually putting it on plates today rather than eating out the pan? Yes. <laughs> is that nice? Mm. That's perfect. Mm. So this is literally just coconut milk. Salt, pepper, basil, mushrooms and spinach. Really? That's all that's in it. And veggie stock. But yeah, I really hope this has been useful to you guys. Um, please let us know if you've got any questions or um, anything that I haven't answered about living on a small boat and cooking and like, fridge and what we eat and things like that. And if you want to see more content like this from Jade, let us know in the comments. I'm sure, I'm sure she'll be happy to do more stuff. Yeah. Like Welcome to the messy galley. <laughs> so yeah, if you like this or you like our other videos, please think about liking and subscribing and just getting in touch. Uh, we love having conversations in the comments with you guys. See you next time. So yeah, see you next time. We really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you'll tune in next time as Talisman is hauled out of the water for the winter and we finish packing to head home to England. Thanks so much to everyone that's tuned in and supported us so far. We'll see you soon. I know, I the camera and we had pina coladas the other day, didn't we? Yeah. Well. Why are they pina coladas? They were just coconut milk with rum in. <laughs> it's pina colada, right? <laughs> it was the cheapest rum that we've got. Mm. I'm waffling on. <laughs>